land. So, salut, salam, shalom, namaste, merhaba, introducing the gala of Gaffa and Gaia. The following poetic speech is entitled The Return of Pangea. And the image that you will now see are given to you courtesy of Blue Turn to give you a sense of a poetically correct overview effect. This is the Earth moving uh, from a NASA satellite. So dear global citizens, now let's go back to business and wisdom for a global happiness kingdom. Pangea the return in this millennium in a worldwide arena as our new stadium. Because the companies of the future, they care about the outcome of humanity and not only its income. So change the world for good and not for goods unless they're common. Alchemists around the world who turn gold into platinum, everybody welcome. Now, I'm sure you've heard of the four P's of business for a sustainable future. Purpose, planet, profit, people. Purpose, planet, profit, people. And today I'd like to add a fifth P to it, P for poetry, to humanize and harmonize the world and bring souls into corporations in a world of cooperation as a human evolution. So my name is Vincent Avanzi. I'm a chief poetic officer. I'm sorry I'm not a fortune teller, I'm a purpose teller. And my job is basically to enlighten events and poetize brands through workshops and keynotes. And I like to take you on a poetic journey to rewrite a future together. So the first question I want to ask you is, what's the value of a brand if there's no virtue in your hands? Say, what's the value of a brand if there's no virtue in your hands? It reminds me of a quote from Einstein. He said, try not to become a man of success, but rather a man of value. In other words, try not to become a brand of success, but rather a brand of value. And maybe that's the real success. Second question I want to ask you is, who wants to be number one at what you do? In your market, in your whatever you do. Who wants to be your number one? Please raise your hand. Who wants to be number one? Probably everybody wants to be number one at what you do. How about instead of trying to be number one, we just became one without numbers for once, each in our own uniqueness but united. One humanity, one world, one family, one love, one harmony, one soul. You know, it's not the winner takes all, it's the winner shares all. We all have a voice and we all have a choice, so we can be part of the solution or part of the pollution. I mean, what will be left in the future if we can't do what's right in the present? What will be left in the future if we can't do what's right in the present? Do we want to create a better society for the few or for the future? In harmony with nature as mankind may have now matured. This post-capitalism era we live in is a shot at humanism. It's not history in the making, it's the future and amazing. And if we all came from different boats, we're now on the same ship. You know what it's called? It's called the HR, the human relationship. So what if after making PowerPoints, we made purpose points? Instead of making business plans, we made happiness plans. Instead of maximizing our earnings, we started to harmonize the living. As Gandhi said, let's be the change we want to see in this world. We're all weapons of mass construction to build a sustainable society with our ideas and ideals and to believe in our dreams and achieve all our schemes. Having the consciousness to change, evolve, and finally be kind, this may very well be the miracle of life and the beauty of mankind. We the people are created equal. Nobody is evil, so imagine the riddle. A dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream we dream together is reality, said a wise man once from the Beatles in a song destined to us all. Imagine. So imagine. Imagine we have a dream. Imagine we're a team. Imagine we might just win. Imagine this can be real. Imagine your company is magic in your public utility. Imagine we build a world of harmony as one human family where profit meets meaning and purpose for net positive, public benefit, and corporate social responsibility with a yin-yang leadership. 
to give us a climate chance at a global warming of the hearts. Can you feel this? You know, it's like the uh, code of ethics of artificial intelligence, or maybe the poetics of awareness of our conscience, or the importance of collective intelligence, love quotient, and green finance as the alliance and real balance of two talents like the guidance of two parents in the dance floor of our interdependence to choose our own zone of influence. I mean, they do talk a lot about artificial intelligence, but what we see is human in the heart and soul of tolerance. And what we dream of is a world where art is official like the Renaissance and where love must be shown as a providence. Are we still really looking for more evidence of human arrogance? Bottom line is, what future do we really want to build? Let's invent a sustainable brand new world with our human skills. So, actually, here's a list of 10 questions destined to the souls of corporations. Tomorrow, what will be your social mission statement, your environmental commitment, your human potential empowerment, your soul awareness enlightenment, your contribution to our human evolution with good ethical working conditions, your common good retribution and share in our worldwide reconciliation, the difference between cooperation and competition, your purpose and your horizon, your values and your higher mission. At the 21st century crossroad, could the motto of our essential universal goals become business plus awareness of our souls equals success plus happiness for us all? Business plus awareness of our souls equals happiness plus success for us all. If yes, let's put harmony back in the mission of our companies as an opportunity of unity for humanity in our common destiny. Now, I don't know if uh, big or small is beautiful, but I truly believe that together and forever are wonderful. And as you know also on a personal level, it all comes down to this at the end of the day. Did you make anybody's life better today? Have your organization felt useful in a specific way? Do you feel like you learned something on the way and that you took in sincere direction when you press play? If healthy is a new cool and slow life is the new food, then harmony is the new you because poetry is in your soul to live and lead in your own shoes and tools. People's yes, purpose is the new rule. So with all good respect, Connect your dots and think outside the robots. Nobody can stop your plot on your way to the top of your ideals. When love is in your art, you become that free and limited pilot of your dreams, capable of the finest and fairest deals for the next hundred years. 2020, the year of plenty, plenty. If we resist, we exist. 2050, the year of empty, empty. If we insist, we exit. Yep, real talk. So please, be that role business model, that pioneer of the good, that one-of-a-kind manufacturer and conscience leader, and dare to be you, the master and the student of your own ceremony, with a shot at your personal destiny and our collective rendezvous with history. You know, that's why profitable and sustainable it's not a question, nor an invitation, it's an obligation for the future generations. As we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. So when you change the world, it's a chance for all. And when you change the world, it's a chance for love. So please, continue to cherish and unleash your human potential. Make your brand sustainable, our values respectable, and our trading equitable. Believing something exceptional, looking at us in the future as one single soul in the dome of our home, sweet home. And just be great, Lee useful. And be gent, Lee grateful. Actually, no, don't be careful, be wonderful. 
On that blue note, like I said before, wishing the best products, services, or life that money can buy to someone is my definition of a good buy. All right, instead of all wrong, hell no, or heaven yes, to wrap this off, I'd like to propose a toast and together take an oath with a new pledge of tolerance to pursue our collective oh, harmony darkness, growth. My old friend, I've come to talk with you. We pledge allegiance to the pact of the United Citizens of the world and the return of Pangea, for which it stands, one humanity under good with invincible principles of peace, liberty, harmony, justice, and common good life for all. So, thank you deeply for your heart of living and for building inclusive bridges. Keep co-creating the future with no ceiling. And now, let the new story of mankind begin. This is the return of Pangea, the gala between the poetry of mankind, the strategy of the Gaffa, and the beauty of the energy of Gaia. Alleluia, salut, salam, shalom, namaste, merhaba, and sayonara. Bon voyage dans l'amour et dans l'avenir avec un grand A. Merci, thank you, gracias, sie, sie, shukran, teshe kulash. Thank you.